Hi, this is Pumpkin Creek Primitives, floss tube number 49. It is July 25th, 2021. This channel is about cross stitch, my Etsy shop, my upcoming website, and fur babies. They tend to make an appearance. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Um, again, I still have a squeaky chair because my honey to-do list obviously never happened. I, the good chair is still sitting downstairs. I would bring it up here myself, but it is like 5,000 pounds. So my chair is squeaky, squeakity squeak. I have, there's, there's a cat. Hi, icers. Ah, Sabiners, you wanna come see people? You haven't come seen them in a long time. Can you get up here? I'll pick her up. She'll yell. But... Come here. I know. Say hi. Say hi to the people. No, you don't want to say hi to the people? There you go. There you go. I know. You're doing your own thing. Oh, you went down? Okay. Don't, don't do the butthole, though. Yeah, we don't want to show them that. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sorry, <laughs> thought you'd hang out a little bit longer. Okay, so this is floss tube 49, which means I am coming up on my one year floss aversity. I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> so, yeah, crazy, right? I've been doing this for almost a year. Um, last month my shop had been open for a year and I had all these plans. I was going to do something special and fun and I didn't. Hi, Ski. It's like my people must see me. Okay, those are sticky bags. I'll touch those. Um, yeah, so things over here is the same as normal, as you can tell. Fight me, cat. Um, you don't need it, Bubby. So we, um, little life updates here. Um, well, let me start off with cat butt in your face. Okay. So my mom, um, had got a call from the surgeon and when they sent off two of the nodes, if you are new here and you don't know, my mom just had a lumpectomy a couple weeks ago. Well, the doctor, they sent off the two nodes and they both came back positive. And so she just wanted, the doctor just wanted to make sure that they definitely got zero margins or negative margins. So they went in Friday and took out a little bit more tissue. Uh, mom's doing fine. She's doing great. It was a, look. it wasn't <laughs> as an invasive um, surgery. Obviously, it was the first go around and um, they didn't have to put her under as heavy uh, sedation. So and she's doing well. With that, okay, you just go and lay there and help out. Appreciate it. Okay, also, Thursday, 7.29, we are picking up Lucian. So, that means that my next floss tube 
will have a puppy in it. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, we're not ready. We're not prepared. We're very scared. I don't know what two dogs in a house is going to be. Jasper is the first dog I've ever had in a house, period. Um, I grew up on a farm. We had outdoor dogs. Uh, they were free roaming outdoor dogs, too. It wasn't like they were in pens. Because um, we had um, large acreage. But... What? That was my chair. Why are you looking at me like that? It was my chair. Um, yeah, sorry for the, my hair, when I cut it, I didn't cut it long enough. I didn't have her leave it long enough for me to put it up in a bun. And so I'm having to do like this weird little teeny tiny ponytail. That's weird, but it's fine. I just didn't feel like doing anything with my hair. Uh, it needs to be washed. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, the purple's almost out. I still have a little bit of purple, but it's almost out. Um... One more washing and I think it'll be out. Right now it's just nitty. It's gross. It's so gross. But yeah, so I'm so excited. I'll have a little puppy. I'll hold a little puppy and be like, here's my puppy. Um, speaking of puppies, <laughs> so I filmed Jasper got, so I switched his bark box um, that he was getting because he had the extreme chewer one. And they came with these, and then y'all saw, if you saw the videos, you saw the hard plastic, which are fine. But when he starts really gnawing on them, they get like sharp and then they're heavy. So when he drops them on the floor, Chad's always worried that it's going to like dead the hardwood. And then if they, he drops them on you, it's painful between the stabbing and the weight. So I told Chad, I was like, well, I mean, he is kind of an extreme chewer, but you know, not really. Um, so I was like, I'm just going to change it to the... Uh oh, I don't know where that came from. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna change it to the regular bark box, um, since he's never had that before, and um, see what he thinks. And so at the end of this, I'll put a video of him and his bark box opening. I'm sorry. Does something bother you? You just have to peruse in front of, like, just not peruse, parade. It's not even remotely the same word. Parade. He, he jumped down. It probably shook. Sorry. Um, and then, um, so I have the video of Jasper. And then after that, I have a video of Jasper outside stalking something. And I didn't start the filming um, soon enough. So you don't see the full stalking that he's doing to the burn pile that we have. That we've got to burn at some point. Um, but you do get to see a beautiful point. He did an amazing job pointing. So... Um, I'm very, very excited. Um, also, I have um, a friend of ours, which we met through um, Puppy Preschool when Jasper went. Uh, she has, it's, and you've seen videos of uh, Jasper's best friend, Frodo. And they are like three days apart. And they met at Puppy Preschool. And we've kept play dates with them so that they can see each other. Well, Frodo got a new baby brother, Bilbo. And Bilbo, he, he's probably like a month, a month or more older than Lucian. Uh, he may be like, I don't know, four to six weeks older than Lucian. Um, but I just <laughs> reached out um, to their uh, Frodo and Bilbo's owner and asked her if she had signed Bilbo up for puppy classes or not. And she said, yeah, she was doing them in August. And I was like, August 31st? question mark and she's like yeah whenever the next class starts I was like oh my gosh I signed up Lucian so now Lucian and Bilbo will get to meet each other at puppy class which is so I mean it's just fun so it would be great if they get along wonderfully and then be able to have the four boys um to you know to have play dates will be awesome so and they need it wears them all out it's amazing um so and of course her house has been uh super crazy uh, with the puppy, they <laughs> they just seem like they play all the time. And they wear each other out. So I'm hoping that's how our house will be. Although I'm sure it's going to be chaotic. But I don't know why. I all of a sudden started yawning. You guys, I've not yawned like all day. I've not been sleepy. Everything's fine. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's weird. Maybe I'm like a dog, you know, because dogs, if they yawn and lick their lips a lot. I'm not licking my lips, but... <laughs> It means they have anxiety. Um, so maybe that's maybe that's what I've got. It's full anxiety. I don't know about what, but this. All right. Enough about all that. Let's get into haul. 
All right, so I got my two club, monthly clubs that I get from Fortnite Fabrics. And this is part of my uh, 20, nope, just called Shades of Grey. Is that correct? I don't know. This is called Shell Not Pass. I don't know why I'm like losing. Um, and that's it. I'm losing. I get mine an 18 count. It's lighter than it's showing on here always because nothing ever wants to show right. That's a little closer, I think. Um, I think it's just called Shades of Grey. I want to call it Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Which I'm sure is what the play, it's play on that, but I think it's just called Shades of Grey. Okay, and the other one I got is Famous Duos, and that I do know. And this is Sunny and Cher. So, yeah, it's way pinker <laughs> than what it's shown on. Let me get the little... Oh, no, it's still, it's, it's brighter than that. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, it's like, eh, it's brighter than that. Anyways, it's a good pink. I got to put those back in their um, plastic so I don't lose the cards because then I won't ever remember. And then I did a little bit of shopping. And um, if anybody watches uh, Kia B's channel, her husband um, was the first person I saw with All Souls Band, and it was gorgeous, and I have it, and I know I've showed it on here before. Um, it's got skulls, but sometimes you can't even tell there's skulls in there, and it's by um, Cultify Designs, or Design, and he was having a sale, so I went and got me another pattern from him. This one's called the Kraken, and um, I love it so much so and there's the sorry and he's on etsy and it's digital patterns okay then i got an exciting thing in the mail and you know my cryptid um sow is going in this so that's so that's in this but i got a bag sent to me and it's binks I got a bag sent to me by my girl Donna and Donna um, got this bag at Nicole's Needlework on Etsy and I mean isn't that not just the cutest thing and of course and she had a lovely message with it and I let Skeeter know he's the reason I got such a beautiful bag <laughs> um, and then Nicole sent me a little card to write in what Donna's message to me was, which was amazing. And um, then Nicole added a little message saying that she also enjoys my floss tube. And um, she wanted to send me this bag. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I love it. So in her note, uh, and then I immediately went this morning and bought two more bags from Nicole. <laughs> so, um, it is Nicole Needleworks. It's on Etsy. And um, you just, when you type search in, in Etsy, you have to put it all together. Don't use the apostrophe. So, it just looks like Nicole's is plural, but just don't use the apostrophe. So, Nicole's Needleworks. And there is an S on the end of that. Um, but she asked me if I were interested, she would get me a um, discount code for my viewers. So I'm working on getting you guys a discount code. Um, but until then, please go check out her shop, favorite it, favorite items, buy something. Um, she's got some really cute bags out there. So I really appreciate that, Donna. And thank you so much, Nicole. Um, I was so pleased. And of course, this is part of me being overwhelmed. And like I told Donna, <laughs> she had emailed me and asked me for my address and I gave it, I sent it to her. And then these bags came in and I was like, and I could tell they were project bags. I was like, I didn't, I don't think I've ordered any project bags. And I just got mine, <laughs> mine recently from Anna. And I was like, I don't know what this is. And then I got it and got the note and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And then when I went 
to email Donna to let her know how thankful I was. I, of course, saw the previous email where she asked for my address. And I was like, this was a complete surprise, even though I gave you my address. Because I completely forgot that I gave her my address. Like, seriously. Like, it didn't even happen. It's a little scary. But I'm working on it. I'm just overwhelmed. My, um... My nine to five, which I always say, call it a nine to five, it's really a seven to four. It's very stressful right now. Well, I mean, it's gonna be for a while. We have lots of things going on, a lot of new projects starting. It's great for business. Um, very difficult for the already overworked employees. <laughs> um, so it's taking up a lot of brain power and trying to learn how to set up a new website, taking a lot of brain power. Um, I feel like my poor brain is just like any type of information that my brain feels like I don't necessarily need to remember, it completely loses. Um, which sucks because I was always the steel trap. I remembered everything. Now I don't know what I ate yesterday for lunch. Ugh, it's driving me nuts. And this also just may be 40. I don't know. Um, so that is my haul and stitchy kindness. I guess technically I blended the two. And, um, let me, I gotta take a sip of water. Sorry, I'm really behind on my water today. Don't judge. It is like, this is almost 3 p.m. and it is like 3.30. Nope, it is like almost 4 o'clock. I'm that behind. Ah. I'll get caught up. That's fine. Um, okay. So, I only worked on two things. I know. It's okay, though. Before I get into those, let's have a little reading. It's like Masterpiece Theater. Okay. So, the one I picked for today. Oh, if you're new. <laughs> I do a little something like this. I like to read out of this book that I got um, from one of my very best friends, Amy, and she's an IRL, Amy. And um, she got me this for my birthday. And I just love it. It's just funny. And so I like to break up. And normally I have way more stuff that I'm showing because I'm normally showing shop stuff. But so I just like to break up my segments with just a little bit of um, interestingness, which I'll be honest with you, ghost stories, oh, you can't see the book. They're still over there and so is my trivia stuff and I haven't forgotten about it. It's just been, I just haven't been in the mood. I'm just having a hard time. Like I've completely lost my stitchy bug. Um, I stitched a little bit today and so everything I'm showing you happened today. Um, uh, frog warts killed my stitchy bug. It's fine. It'll come back. It's just because if you don't know what frog warts is, the Black Needle Society has monthly, not monthly, bi-monthly boxes that you can sign up to get. And then they also have these special um, virtual retreat boxes. And frog warts was year two, was a Harry Potter based on um, the year two. So the second book, second movie. And um, I took off work because it was my first retreat ever. And I went in all in. I only missed one event. And it was because I had to take myself to the dentist for her to readjust the bite after getting the crown work done. So I missed a probably a 20 minute event. I think the stash dives were only 20 minutes. I missed a 20 minute event. That's it. Out of everything else, I did everything else except for I did not watch the movies. But you didn't have to watch the movies. Um because I can't concentrate enough. <laughs> so I know that on my Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, I think I got 12, I worked on it for 12 hours. Now granted, not straight, but over the course of those four days, well, I guess you gotta count Wednesday night. So it's like four and a quarter days. Um, that, I don't normally do that much stitching in a week period on numerous pieces much less one piece. And I had multiple pieces I was working on. For a lot of them, I think only one or two got one hour. Everything else was two plus hours on it. So 
It was a lot of hours of stitching condensed in a very short period of time. I loved every bit of it. I think I just got a little burnout. <laughs> so um, slowly getting back to it. It's fine. Okay, back to the wrap. Sorry. I'm a 90s kid. I mean, technically I'm an 80s kid and a 90s preteen teenager. So um, rap is 90s rap is my life. And unfortunately, I don't have enough 90s rap in this book, but that's okay. Um, so the one I picked is Bodies Being Found on Green Leaf. Lyrics from song Let Me Ride on album The Chronic by artist Dr. Dre. At one point in time, a major boulevard in Compton near Los Angeles was a dumping ground where bodies were often placed following murders, so it would be possible to happen upon a cadaver if you frequented this area. I mean, that's not funny, it's terrible, it's sad, but um, I just love the way that this book words things. It's so funny. Okay, so this album, The Chronic, means, and I think I've said this before, means a lot to me because it was my yard mowing song. <laughs> so I had my tape. Of course, my parents had no clue I had that tape. But I had the tape, had my Walkman, put that sucker on, and I would just listen to that tape constantly while I mowed my one acre of yard that I had to mow every weekend. Um, and it was amazing, and I loved it. <laughs> All right. On to the whips. And like I said, I didn't do much. Uh, this first one is part of a sow that I'm doing with Carrie from Three Trail Stitchers, which you, if you do not watch them, you need to. And also with Memphis Sarah. And if you're not watching her, you need to watch her too. Because they're my friends and that's what I say. <laughs> no, they're both really, really good <laughs> to watch. Um... And I also watched both of them before they became my friends. So if that helps legitimize what I'm saying at all, there you go. Okay, so this is the pattern by The Little Stitcher, which is my, I swear she's in my top two favorite designers. I think her and Primitive Hair are battling it out. My two Italian ladies are battling it out with each other. Um, but I love this, this movie, oh, I love this movie. So I worked on it a little bit. And also, oh, we're doing our sal. Our sal, the is a hashtag bog of eternal stench sal. Um, so if you want to join along or if you just want to follow it to see, you know, how I don't post anything because I'm terrible. I posted my first picture today. So it's what you will see right now because um, I'm terrible about posting on social media. I don't know. I There's a part of me where I feel like if I post it on Instagram it gives it away before you guys see it. I know. It's weird. Here's where I'm at. I have hair and part of a horn. I did not finish his horn. I ran out and then realized it was 3 o'clock and knew I needed to get my butt over in my craft room and get to stitching. This fabric does not look as very good on here, which really ticks me off because it is a lot prettier than what it is showing up. It is a more olivey green than the forest that is showing but that's where I'm at so we got Sarah's hair and then we've got the horn um Bluto's horn started so for reference hair horn <laughs> so I I mean it's I I don't know I can't help it. It's a great, it's a fun little stitch. I'm really pissed off that you can't tell the color. That's a little bit better. I don't know, why does it hate me? Oh well. It's fine. And there's my chair. Can't with this chair. Okay. So the next thing that I worked on, which is in my trusty Linux, which is funny because y'all see this bag a lot because um, it holds, because on, which I guess I should say what it is first, dun, da, da, da. Um, because on this round robin, I am stitching Bobby 2.0 on so far everybody's piece. Um, 
so I just have, I'm working on Stacy's. I just have Sally's and then Jessica's. And I know I'm stitching on Jessica's. I just got to make sure with Sally that she wants me to stitch it on hers. Um, sorry, I shook the camera. I think it's got like a really good anti-shake feature, but I never know. So, um, so I, because I have different thread than what everybody else has with the pattern, I have my own bag that I keep everything in because it's not being passed along um, with everybody else's stuff. So then when I get everybody's stuff, I just put it in my bag. So all that to say, you see this bag a lot. Linux stitches. <laughs> okay, so I did good. I circled on Stacy's her little thing. I circled on there that I worked on it today. This is on 40 count, Country Mocha, Newcastle Linen. Um, she stitched, we stitched one over two. Um, she's using all the fancy floss because I think the pattern gave you choice of the DMC conversion. Um, I am, Bobby 2.0 is a mixture of DMC and fancy, so. this didn't do much but I love how my needle miner is always in the way oh look my leg looks invisible <laughs> it looks invisible <laughs> um but it's not like when you're looking at it you can tell here let me get my let me get my crazy death bride out the way and hopefully I don't lose my needle Oh, shoot a monkey. Stop it. Complications here. That's what we're having. I'm not good with um, having tails on my needles. So, speaking of needles. So, during the whole frog wards, I don't recall. I dropped a needle once, and it landed on the Rubbermaid storage bin that I was keeping my feet on. And I found it easy. I have found three needles around my chair and one halfway out in the middle of the room. I did not drop it. I don't know where the, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but it's scary. And I found one today. One was today. I rolled the chair back to sit down to stitch and it was shiny. And I was like, the hell? Like, I'm telling you, normally you know when you drop a needle. Apparently, I've dropped three and have no no clue that I dropped them, which is very scary. But then again, I was loading up needles for frog warts because of the competition. So, I would have like four needles all threaded, ready for me to go. And so, I guess maybe in some of the craziness. But, okay, how can I hold this better? There, you can see. You can see my skin. From back here, you cannot. <laughs> But it does show up on the fabric. So we got a leg, part of a leg. Starting up on my thigh. Um, so for all the bitching that I did about 40 count, and then Heather's went swimmingly. And I thought Heather's went swimmingly because she had even weave. Well, then, because I took Heather's to work, I know I told the story, but I took Heather's to work. And when I took hers to work, the light I have at work is one, it's the same brand. I thought I just bought the version that plugs into the wall versus the one that can be, um, that recharges, right? So the one I have at home, I can take anywhere in the house. I don't have to worry about being near a plug because my couch is not near a plug. And then I just have to put it, plug it back in to charge it back up. So, um, the one I have at work, I thought was the exact same, it's the same brand, it's the exact same thing, I thought. Um, oops, I didn't put the card in here. Except that it was attached to a plug. It was not an on the go. Well, when I took Heather's piece to work and I was working on it, I was like, oh, I can see this real good. This is weird. So then I did a little research about what the heck 
the lamp at work was compared to the one at home. And my one at home is a ba your basic. It's two times magnification. That puppy at work, it's an 8D, so it's three times magnification. So I was like, oh, well, there you go. So I bought a three times magnification one for the house. So I have both the lamps plugged in. And I'm doing 14, 16, 18 count, 20 count. I do not um, use that 8D, the three times magnification, because it gives me a headache, because it don't need to be that big. Um, but for these 40 counts, I'm using it. And I'll be honest, I'm not saying I had fun because I still don't care for doing over two. It's the over two part. I'll be honest with you. Um, just with my counting. But this is going along fine. I can see great. Um, thankfully, the area that I'm in doesn't seem to have too many slubs in it. And it doesn't seem to be uh, too wonky in the way that the uh, threads are laid. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It's working, but I definitely wanted to start it as soon as I could. I should have really started it before today, but because I'm a lot slower stitching on going over two. And um, yeah, and so speaking of that, because I know I said um, that life's too short to stitch over two, and I still agree with that. And I'm not going to the dark side of linen. I'm not. I'm still an Ada girl. Speaking of which, my girl Mia she sent me a message the other day and said we needed to figure out uh something to do so that we could hashtag it ada and chill and i am 100 percent on board for that i believe we should hashtag anything you stitch with ada should be hashtag ada and chill um and if you don't know the reference of next netflix and chill then i apologize because this this reference is just over your head but it's fine um it's not it's not worth looking up it's fine <laughs> but I love hashtag Ada and chill because that's my life right there is Ada is it's my home it's my safe place I like it I like it a lot so um I told Mia I asked her could I could I use it I'm just gonna steal it and then well yeah I guess you're not stealing it if you're giving her credit for it but um, I knew I wanted to use it. All right. So I didn't, I don't think last week, hell, I don't remember what I did, but I don't think <laughs> that I did, um, my cryptid, which is terrible. And now I can't find it in my searching. No, this is not good. Oh, found it. Okay. So the last one we did. Does anybody remember? Oh, well, that's sad. <laughs> I really feel like. Why do they feel like they're in different order? I know we did Chupacabra. And I'm pretty sure I did Tennessee Wild Man. But I'm pretty positive I didn't do the next one because I don't even know how to pronounce the next one. All right. Next state is South Dakota. So I just like, I guess, stopped with Tennessee and didn't do it anymore. <laughs> um, I'll have to go back and look and see because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Um... This is South Dakota, and I'm going to say it's Takuhi. That's what it is. And noted as being very similar to some of the other cryptids, such as Bigfoot, Wood Devil, Skunk Ape, etc. There's so many sightings of different stinky, hairy, bipedal creatures all over, and South Dakota happens to have one called... Takuhi. Like many other similar cryptids, Takuhi is around eight feet tall. However, this one dons a top hat and a coat. 
Unlike the formal attire, it was often recorded that many of the animal victims had their sexual organs removed from their body. So, in other words, he was not quite as gentlemanly as he appeared. Other tales of this beast paint them as a sort of demon or specter. They would supposedly whisper lies to bring teenagers mm -hmm, and early death, seeing as there was a rise in suicide amongst the young adults. Instances related this theory. Some have said that they appear to be a normal looking older man referred to as Walking Sam. That's creepy in itself. I'd rather it be a big hairy ape monster thing than just some random old man. Okay, Takuhi. Location, South Dakota. Appearance, seen in a coat and top hat. Similar to Bigfoot. Tears genitals from local cattle. Spotted in mostly, spotted in, mostly in, no. Spotted mostly in, she's got a typo. Wide open areas, staring creepily at witnesses. Yeah, that's, that's called a dirty ass old man. So that's the dossier on this thing. Mm. No thanks. If you might know, if I'm not saying that right, let me know. And South Carolina is next. So, Jess, do you know what your South Carolina cryptid is? Just wondering. <coughs> now I'm going to cough. You know, all the problems. And I'm almost done. Okay. So, plans. I don't really have any. I'm just kind of going day by day. <laughs> I'm just like out here. I don't know. It's whatever I feel like, I guess. I don't know. Um, I do have the cryptid stitch along that Witchy Stitcher is doing. I think the first pattern, the cryptid frame is released August 1st. I just ordered my floss for that. So hopefully um, I'll get started on that frame before the next time you see me. Depends on how crazy puppy life is. Because um, I think you'll, so that's August 1st is the Friday, which I'm off Friday, but I have a puppy. Um, me and Chad are both off Friday, so I probably won't get to do anything. Um, it'll be basically just hoping the whole family gets along. <laughs> it's gonna be, I mean, Isis may move out. She may pack her bags and be like, you know, I said nothing when you brought a kitten in the house. Then I said nothing when you brought a puppy in the house. I said nothing when you brought another kitten into the house. But now... Just cross the line, people. You've gone bananas with your pets. So, she'll probably leave. <laughs> um, I'm excited to see what Skeeter does. There's no telling. Um, he, him and Jasper have a very interesting relationship. Jasper loves Skeeter. He, I mean, he loves all the cats. He's very infatuated with them. But his problem is he's very, he likes to boop them. So, like, he goes up with his nose and just ruffles them and then boops them. They don't like it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. When he, I don't know, when he boops my face, I like it, but it's different. Um, the cats aren't aren't real fond of it. <laughs> so, um, the fact that Skeeter will be bigger than the puppy will be interesting. Because when Skeeter was brought, Jasper was already pretty good size and Skeeter was just like so tiny. But, so it'll be interesting. Um, so yeah, so hopefully on... And it's, I was going to say, oh, it's in August, but like, God, that's next week. It's so crazy. So yeah, I'm going to work on that frame for the cryptid. Sorry, I'm looking at the cheat sheet on it. I've got printed out sitting right here. Uh, my next plans, which will be for later in August, 
Um, I took a Friday off because it's the next virtual retreat by the Black Needle Society. Um, and when I talk about these retreats that are closely coming up, they are no longer available for purchase. Um, I, we buy these months in advance, um, which is how I missed out on their, the one they had right after Frog Wars, which was, um, I think it was Midnight in the Garden or something like that. Um, and it looked amazing and I'm hoping they have extra stuff that they put in the vault um, on their website because I want that bag desperately want that bag <laughs> but um and if you don't know what I'm talking about Janet if you just want to see it uh Janet from Janet Jabber she did an unboxing of that um retreat box which was amazing you know I sat there and talked about floss tube and I didn't tell you who I was doing it with I mentioned a couple names but no nothing else okay so we have Janet from Janet Jabber we have Stacy from Stacy Stitches we have Heather from Punky Pearl, and then we have Jessica from, which I call Jess, uh, from Stitches with Sass. And then we have Sally, who's not a YouTuber, but she is on Instagram, and it's uh, Skate Mom Stitches. So it's S-K-8 Mom Stitches. Um, eight is in the numeral to say skate. Got it? Okay. So... <laughs> Um, those are the ladies doing that round robin of the floss tube, uh, friends with me and I'm stitching on Stacy's piece right now. So yeah, so other plans. End of August, another retreat, Black Needle Society. It is Autumn and Stars Hollow. So it is Gilmore Girls. I'm very excited. Um, I did not watch it when it was actually on. I was a latecomer once it was already on Netflix. Um, I think I watched it when I heard they were coming out with the mini series, whatever it was they did recently. And I was like, oh, I hear people talking about this. I'm not familiar. I must go back and watch all the things and then so I can watch the new one, right? Um, so I watched all one through. I am currently watching all the seasons through again, just so I could, because that was years, a few years ago, year ago, year and a half ago, two years ago, hell, who knows? Um, so it's fresh in my brain because Lord knows <laughs> I need refreshers. Um, my brain's failing me a little bit. So yeah, so those are really the only immediate plans I have, which I know is not very much. Um, and then I'll stitch on whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever my little heart desires. That's what I'll do. Um, So everybody was doing, well not everybody, but a big thing in the cross stitch community is Christmas in July. I guess so you can get a head start on your stitching so you'll actually have stuff to display at Christmas time. Whereas I am a seasonal stitcher. So I stitch winter in winter, which is dumb because it's never done for the holiday, but it's fine. But I've got this great pattern here um, that Blackberry Lane Designs sent me, and I want to do a giveaway, and if they are not the cutest stinking freaking mittens, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. They're amazing. Um, so cute, and, um, yeah, so I am doing a giveaway. So, the word you need to use in a sentence, um, it's going to be... Compton. That is spelled C O M P T O N. Um, so that way I can put my Dr. Dre out there in the world. <laughs> so the word, just you don't even have to use it in a sentence. You can just write the word Compton. If you have no idea how to use it in a sentence, I'm just going to search for the word Compton. C O M P T O N. It has to be spelled correctly. Otherwise, the. Um, Search can't find it when I do the random search. So, that'll be this. Now, I'm going to finish this up. 42 minutes. It's way longer when I didn't have very much to show. So, that means I've been rambling a lot. Um, Weight Watchers. Still going good. Still going strong. My weigh-in was on Friday. I was down two pounds. Um, yeah, still just keep on keeping on. And, I mean, it's going great. I'm eating good food, drinking my water. Um, so my total, 
my total loss, should have looked that up, is 22.4 pounds that I've lost so far. I did not check my breakfast in. Okay, so that is it. And um, stay tuned and you'll have two back-to-back -back videos of Jasper. And I don't, I don't think I have anything with the cats. It's so sad. But you'll have Jasper for now. And then I am going to try so hard, I just gotta figure out how to do it, um, to film Jasper meeting Lucian for the first time. It's just somewhat difficult because you also want to make sure everybody's safe. So, um, whereas before, depends on how, if we put Jasper on the bed and let him meet that way because then Chad can film while I'm holding Lucian, uh, just like we did when we introduced him to uh, Scooter Ray. So, we'll see. But, yeah. So that's all for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful stitchy week and I will see you next week. Still just plugging along on this beast of a website, but we'll get there. I'll see you next week. Bye. All right. So I got the regular bark box now for him instead of the extreme chewer. The Kraken has been released. Oh, <laughs> Bobby. I got side hit. Look at the floor. Look on the floor. He's smart. You're so smart, but go look in the floor. Okay. Jasper. He smells a pig ear on the table. That's look at that. What's in that? What you got? Sorry, guys. You got you a little raccoon and he's in a little barrel. Okay. Uh oh, that might throw up on the carpet. I got it. Nobody look. Okay. What else is in there? Oh, there's a some more. He's going for the treats. Did you see this some more? Try not to get his balls. Hey, <laughs> hey, excited pup. Hey. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Did you see this some more? <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm trying to kick this. Did you see that? <laughs> I think he'll like this box. The other one was good, but it just had really hard plastic stuff, which he liked, but you know. Okay, you having fun? Yeah? He comes out of his barrel. Go, oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Can you go potty? <laughs> Let's go potty. Bye, guys. You got Bubby. Old point. Stealth mode. There's the beast. Wait, look. Talking something.